hey everyone welcome back so today uh, i'm going to share with you how did i uh, pass my google certification without paying any fee to google it's totally free of cost for me so let's start so in year 2020 i gave the uh, google cloud certified associate cloud engineer exam and then for this exam i have two years of validity so after two years in the last year they have uh, increased the validity uh, to three years now now if you see this exam is going to expire in the month october this year so before that i have to give this exam and uh, with this uh, we are seeing the uh, october month because i got a 30 days grace period from the google so i have i have to review this exam uh, before expiry so what option i have let's see so option 1 uh, would be that i can renew this exam before the expiry uh, i got the 50% discount from the google uh, i have to use the code uh, which i you can see here and with that code i can give this exam second thing is that uh, maybe i don't have time and i'm okay to expire this exam then maybe i have to uh, pay a full amount and give this exam give this exam now uh, the two these two option you all you aware about the third option is is interesting one and this core piece of this video is renewable lab exam so google recently has uh, launched this uh, type of exam uh, through which uh, you uh, will get some challenging labs so we complete a challenging labs and then uh, you are you will get certification from google and it should be free of cost uh, nothing to do so for this um, uh, i will going to share some tips and tricks with you uh, which will help you to uh, pass this exam so let's see uh, the tip number 1 uh, about scheduling so there is no scheduling at all uh, like other exams you have to uh, schedule the exam and then uh, you have to appear for the th- for this exam but in this case uh, there is no such scheduling you will get a mail from the google uh, like i have shown here in that mail they will t- tell you about the exam window and the exam window uh, uh, will be in front of you and then maybe you have to register for this exam and then uh, the exam will be open for you during that days and you can give you this exam, exam any point of time is not something like you to give the exam only on the morning or only in the evening no in that 2 to 3 days the exam will be available for you 24 by 7 tip number 2 the exam duration so exam duration is that uh, you will get 90 minutes uh, to complete the exam in this 90 minutes you will get a five laps so every lap have a some time window uh, so you have to complete that lap in the time window only if you couldn't complete it then your your effort will not be recorded so you have to be very uh, you have to very be very patient you have to be very prepared for that and then complete the lab tip number 3 the exam type the exam is open book exam it is a non proctor exam so nobody will monitor you during the exam you can refer any type of material a uh, books videos uh, even though you can go to internet and search for the steps that is totally totally possible for you you can you can leverage that piece tip number 4 exam result so this once you pass this exams uh, this exam result will be or uh, not pass i would say when you give this exam you will uh, get a result in 7 to 8 working days so you have to be very patient is not like that after once you complete the exam exam will be will flash in front of you no it won't happen here then the step or the tip fifth is the certificate question validity so once you pass this exam you will get a 33 years of validity tip number 6 the exam language so currently this exam is only available in uh, english language tip number 7 the exam lab so you may have a quick lab account with you but for this exam lab google has uh, have a different portal or different account you have to sign in and through that account you can uh, uh, give this exam i will show you that as well and tip number 8 the exam support so during the exam this uh, uh, you need any support from the google then you will get a charts a support from the google uh, that available in to the help section uh, at the top of the corner so that you can do that okay. so uh, one more thing is that uh, there is only one attempt for this exam you have to be well prepared for this exam if you fail that attempt then you will not get another attempt here 
okay so be aware about that the tips and tricks okay so tips now now we are, have come to tricks then tricks the trick one is very important the trick one you will get a free practice lab from where you will get it uh, i have given a, a link also in description uh, there is a google cloud certification learning path through that uh, you can get a labs i will show you that as well uh, so that you can get an idea about it and the trick two is is very uh, famous right in nowadays about chat gpt and google bard so during the exam you are not aware about the exact steps maybe you have no some steps but few steps maybe uh, you are you need to check or you need to verify then you can take a help of a chat gpt or google bard uh, but i always uh, uh, prefer google bard because it's a google uh, certification so what i feel is that google bard will help you a lot than uh, chat gpt and chat gpt is a have a uh, uh, data till 2021 so but google bard may have a latest data and that will help you to uh, get a exact answer for you so now uh, this is all about theory uh, we'll see uh, or we'll go to portal and we'll see about more about the sign in and uh, we'll see about uh, uh, labs okay so you can see this uh, this is the learning portal of, uh, from the google so you can uh, log in in this learning portal and you can give the labs okay so i, I discuss about it in the tricks section so the first thing is that if you already have login uh, created then you can directly click on sign in and uh, uh, go for the labs okay if not if not then you can click on join and uh, you can fill the form form is very easy you have to give the first name last name your email address your company name and password that's it and you have to create your account it's very straight forward once you're done with this then you can if you go down you can get certain activities the activities con consist of the uh, videos uh, quiz and lab okay i will show you one of them but can you see right now these are the labs available for you okay and these are the courses available to you so you can uh, go through it one by one and you can prepare for your actual exam okay so that's one thing second thing which i talked about about the registration and about the uh, exam portal so google has created a new url over here you can see gcp cert quicklabs.com so this is one of the portal through which you can give the exam or you can give the lab so similarly here also you have to first if you already have an account then you can sign in with that account uh, during the exam exam uh, will be available to you during that day only you can log in and you can keep it ready but it won't be you can can't you can't see the labs uh, before the exam okay so that's the one thing second thing is that uh, if you don't have law credentials you may not have initially you have to create it so you can click on join and then you can again fill the same form a similar kind of form the first name last name your email address company name password and password confirmation and then you can create your account simple as that okay uh, now i have logged in into the learning portal so you can see this right after login you can see this uh, all these activities right one by one so there is certain activities you can do one by one you can jump from uh, between the this activity also so let me show you one of them so that you can get an idea about it so uh, let me choose the three uh, google cloud fundamentals cloud infrastructure let me click on this learn more so in this you can see this like the I, if you go down then you can see this there is a video it contains the uh, seven videos quizzes uh, lab quiz video so a lot of see, every uh, topics contain the lab video and quiz so you have to uh, you can learn one by one about it and you can get a better idea about google resources okay so uh, if you let me op let me expand this so that you can get idea that this is nothing i can see over here right similarly if i click over here also i don't see any link to open it so because i haven't enrolled it at so similarly same thing happen with every topic over here see nothing is uh, i can do anything here so the first thing is that you have to click on enroll on this with uh, on demand course so let me click on enroll okay now i have done the enrollment now you can see the change now you can see the link over here see the link over here right you can similar link you can see if i expand this you can see similar link for other topics also so let me show you the lab so that you can get an idea how the lab would be so uh, lab 1 okay this lab i can go uh, the google cloud cloud fundamentals getting started with the cloud marketplace 
so if you if i click on this okay so this exam uh, lab will be same as this lab but if you go down you can get the this question okay in front of you okay but under task you will not see any steps so he you can see over here there is a step written to you right that how you got you have to perform it right and one more thing is that you can always prefer uh, to open the your lab through uh, incognito mode okay or through private window okay that is very important uh, don't open it through uh, existing browser okay so if you go down you can get a task 1 task 2 uh, task 3 okay so similar thing will be there also during the exam uh, it is as it is as similar as same as uh, your exam but only change is that you will not get any instruction you will get only the step okay uh, the step in the sense you will get only a task this is a task you have to perform you have to sign in to the google cloud console then you have to de determine the steps what step would be for that okay or i will give another example like uh, you have to create three users uh, through iam console uh, the one user could be uh, your owner second user would be uh your uh, editor and third user would be your viewer so you have to give a permission to test one test two test three user and complete a lab kind of okay once you complete a lab you have to click you can go to come down and you have to click on the check my progress if you perform all the steps correctly then it will, this will be become green okay so that's the one thing second thing is that when you start for every lab again you have to enroll and you have to click on the start start the lab so when you start the labs you can get the credentials over here okay so this credential you will get in front of you okay you will get these credentials and then you can give the exam okay so you in in this lab you will get a username password and you will get a url over here right through that you can uh, give the lab the one, one more thing is that this urls uh, this uh, credentials will vary for every lab it won't be same okay uh, sometimes uh, i have some people have a query also that maybe i don't have credit credit or i don't have a, a option to uh, do, do all the labs don't worry at least you can get the steps over here even though sometimes i have seen that people don't can start the lab till okay uh, you already have partner account uh, then maybe you can give this lab in some cases you don't have partner account then uh, you won't get this lab to to test it to start it uh, okay so what you can do you can at least go through the steps if to uh, for example to uh, use a cloud place uh, uh, to use a cloud marketplace to deploy a lamp stack so for this particular task what are the steps what would be my steps so same step i need to perform in the exam also if same question comes okay so only thing which i want to show you here is that you can go through all the labs and you can go through all the instructions one of the lab or a few of them labs will be there in the exam and you have to perform the same step over there as well okay you can open this also okay if possible if you require it's not a problem over here okay so you can do that understood everyone good so this is one of the thing about the lab let me go down let me go back okay so similarly you can give all the lab and uh, you can complete it, your study okay now the second one about the exam actual exam right so when you log in first time you can see you can come over here you can see this right you can when you log in during the exam uh, you can see this page home page over here and then you have to go on catalog so you can see my progress also i have also given the exam so you can see this right so uh, if, if uh, once uh, 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 exam is open for you then you can click on you can come into this portal you can go on catalog in the catalog you can give this you can see this exam okay so it, through this exam uh, you have to uh, get all the time all the lab uh, exams all the numbers of the lab you have to perform so everything you have to start you have to first enroll and then you have to start one by one okay you can jump between the from one uh, lab to other lab as well but the the important criteria here is that you have to com at least first complete the, first complete the lab uh, any any one lab and then you can go to next lab you cannot open the two lab simultaneously it is not allowed okay so uh, the last thing which i want to share with you is that uh, this lab is uh, is not available for all certifications uh, i have seen this is open for uh, associate cloud engineer exam but for other professional type of exams this lab is not available okay 
so google has uh, launched uh, this lab recently so uh, they are still uh, in evolution phase for those kind of exams but for ac is is totally available for you you can give this exam and you can uh, ex you can uh, increase the validity of your exam for next 3 years okay so i recently i did it so that's why i prepared this video for you so that you can get a better idea about it so uh, we have reached end of this video uh, you can uh, subscribe my channel you can uh, like comment my videos and give and let me know your feedback thank you very much